Moshe, the electric Israeli. And today I am going to talk about uh, my monthly ritual, talk about EV plug-in uh, sales in the United States for the uh, month of April. Uh, overall, EV and plug-in uh, cars were sold over 13,000 in the United States, which is about 3,000 more than April of last year. Uh, it's a little bit less than uh, the sales of March, but the upward trends of breaking previous years or previous quarters continues steadily and that is a fantastic news. That means the revolution is uh, continuing, is taking place. And uh, I think one of the things that if you look at the numbers, I'm going to put a link below to the uh, source where I get this from InsideEVs.com. Uh, I always give them credit, they're wonderful. Uh, if you look at the uh, month by month, you'll see that Tesla's production this month of Model S and Model X is late, not production, deliveries. Take that back, deliveries this month and last month is significantly different. I think by almost uh, 800 cars or something like that. And Tesla, unlike others, uh, are counting on, um, on a... Uh, and, and deliveries, not necessarily production, meaning there are reservations, there are orders, it just need to be delivered, meaning to be produced and delivered. So if there's high production, then there's high delivery. And so it, it, it's all connected to that. Um, Chevy Volt, if you look, stay the same. Chevy Volt, keep going to sell, keep selling a lot. And, and, and Nissan Leaf, I'm talking about the big four. Nissan Leaf, a lot of people, it's about a thousand sales. A lot of people are sitting on their hands waiting for the, for the next upgrade, which, uh, which is big anticipation. But having said all of that, sales of this month break the record from the year before and last month from the year before. So that, that's what you want to see, the big trend. So I still think, I still know that we are, even though, we, even though the market is growing, we still in um, what do you call it in um, in I don't want to say novelty mode or introductory mode. It's more than that. A lot. It's it's going to mainstream, but not in the massive numbers. Ma not in the massive numbers. So uh, we like go growing slowly, but hopefully there's going to be this amazing boost of. Everybody is adapting and everybody is accept, ac accepting uh, of, of uh, electric cars. And I think that the Model 3 could be that amazing tiebreaker uh, because Tesla is positioned. Tesla is positioned very well. Tesla built this, the, the charging destination, the charging stations for people to feel comfortable and free to drive uh, anywhere they want. As at the same time that they are producing uh, high, obviously high luxury, high 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 end cars, but when the mainstream car, quote unquote, the Model Three comes up, and Joe Smith and Joe Schmo can buy it, that maybe, hopefully, I pray, would be the turning point. So now you introduce to massive, massive, massive amount of people driving electric cars, and then other electric cars will be part of the mix and, and it will be hopefully an up, up soar of uptick of, of sales and adoption, sales obviously, and adoption. And, and people are going to discover, I talk a lot about it in my channel, people are going to discover the value of used electric cars because there's thousands of them on the market and I'm a big proponent of that because they are so extraordinarily affordable. So good month as usual. Uh, hopefully continue on uh, weather is warming up so more people will be interested in that so that's all I care so thank you for watching everybody keep subscribing to my channel thank you for all of those who are and keep sharing and liking and all that stuff and help me change the world one electric vehicle at the time